Hey everybody, welcome back to another Indie Bin. This is the Slormancer. I don't know, man. I played this game for like 25 minutes. It's got a hell of a setup. Um, you know, normally I start at the beginning. Um, I'm just gonna recap it. Big Beefman dies. He's the big hero. He gets killed and now he's a little ghost. His he was Brian Buff Body or something like that. His corpse was right here, but it's gone now. Um, this is a weird, like, third person, like, top down. I don't know. Is it? I don't even know if it's a, uh, if it's like a roguelike or something. I didn't die, so I don't know. But it's got a, like, almost twin stick feel, except it's actually, um, very similar to, um, Children of Morta in terms of its combat. Which I know is similar to other games, but I, I don't know them off the top of my head, and that's the one that I can think of. But yeah, it's, it's pretty alright. Uh, I, I don't remember where I picked this up. I didn't buy it on Steam, but I don't know where I bought it from. But I recently purchased it and it because it looked funny and uh yeah it's pretty good i i like it so far i've only played this uh plucky ranger girl i have not played the mage or the or the knight yet Ooh, chainmail Okay, now that we found an item. Nope. No, no, no. Is it not? This this whole menu is weird. Uh hmm. I guess we can't uh I guess we can't change our gear in the middle of everything? Or oh no, it's D-pad. That's what it is. Okay, and then it's up on the D-pad? Nope. I don't remember now. There we go. No, that's skills. Oh, yeah. There's this whole fucking... I don't know what this is. This is not something I have touched yet. It has not come up. I don't know what an ancestral stone is, so... I guess this is our... Oh, we have two points to spend. Um... Let's do raw damage. And... Actually, I like that attack speed increase. Oh. All right, so we have a, uh, oh, we can now unlock new skills. So let's see, I'm sorry, this is all new to me. I'm, I'm literally finding this for myself for the first time. Uh, arrow shot has initial eight mana on kit. Oh, okay. So regen marrow and mana. Arrow shot has additional 5% rebound chance. Orc chance sounds nice. I will take that. Um, actually, can I just get all of these? Oh, no. Okay, so that was a waste. Whatever. I'll take it. What? Ooh. Bladed armor. Oh, yeah, I never equipped the other armor, huh? Yeah, I never equipped this. So, this is 10 raw damage. So, we're just going to equip that right now. Is there not a... Okay, why to easy equip it? Slorm Reapers. This whole game... I, everything is about Slorm, and I don't know what the hell Slorm is, but it's sure a thing that is said constantly. Oh, that split seems like it would be really good. 
Okay, level four, cool. I actually think that means we can unlock that other, uh... That other thing, so... I feel like we are getting closer to whatever we're trying to get. Ow. So that stuff that we're picking up is Slorm. Or Slore. I don't know. It's definitely a tongue-in-cheek kind of game. Like the, the, the hero of the land getting turned into a Navi ghost and all that, but, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Oh, hi. Uh, okay. The real threat is the, um, the guys with the bows. They're the only thing that have hit me so far. Okay, we found a villager that's trapped inside a breach, and he'll go back. I'm sure it was. Y yeah, a shovel would have been... Would be nice. Okay. Okay, the sinister gravedigger is, uh... Gonna come back home with us. Slormreet. Yeah, it is Slorm, but not Slor. Okay, thankfully you're getting me back. You're looking for a shovel, aren't you? Well, I have one. It's a very special shovel. It's used for big holes, but not only that. Thanks to the brilliant modification, my shovel is to point north. Hold a shovel compass. And I really care about it. But I lost it, or I should say I abandoned it. I was digging one of my most beautiful holes with it, a hole that wasn't too deep nor too irregular, then monsters started coming up all around me. I'm actually fed with all my legs, abandoning my shovel compass to its fate. You're going to get it, aren't you? Shouldn't be too far from where you found me. Let's go get the shovel compass. Um, actually, before we do that, though, let's, uh, no, I keep going to the wrong thing. It's this one. Um, oh, we have to get mastery level three with the arrow shot before we can get that. Okay. The music's also, like, weirdly good and kind of sinister and creepy in a way that I really dig. I couldn't even see that one. Damn it, the fucking arrow is coming from off screen. Wait, what did that skeleton just say? I wasn't able to read it. Also, this gives me gold, so I'm going to break all of these pots in a very frame-stuttery manner. guys over here, which you can't get to without going around. Actually, how do we get over there? I am a little confused, not gonna lie. Oh, I already did, don't worry. I fucked up everything. Um, huh. I, ah, I see. Okay, so down here. I wonder how the other classes play, because I was just like, oh, well, it's a ranged class, let's give it a shot, and then I haven't touched any others yet, so. But so far, like, I don't mind the look of it. It actually reminds me of, um... 
Um, shit, what was the Chucklefish game? It was like their first major game. Spent years in... Star something. I haven't played it in a very long time. I have played it, though. I have like 100 hours into it, and I don't remember the name. By the way, the Chucklefish game, it, it, it reminds me of that. Uh, in terms of like the character visuals and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to think of the name of it. Star... something. Anyway, it's it, it reminds me of that game. But yeah, this is... It, it's not bad. It's not, like, so far been difficult in any way or, you know... I don't know, like... Anything other than a very good, like, it, it's a very good podcast game, you know? You just, you open up YouTube or whatever on one screen and you have it off running to the side and you just listen to that while you run around and just shoot a bunch of skeletons and so far. I mean, maybe it gets, like, way more complex, but in terms of the actual, like, difficulty, it's not like Children of Morta in that way, where it's like, oh, I have to actually pay attention. This is this is more of a fun fuck-around game, but it does remind me, in terms of its combat, of a little bit of uh, Children of Morta, which I need to play more. It has... that's a roguelite with a finite ending? Like, like you, you finish it and it's done. Um... But they have a bunch of DLC that I've picked up for it. Um, the Pets DLC and a bunch of other stuff I need to go check out. Good, good game. I really like Children of Morta. Did I ever do a video on it? Oh, shit. Wait, did I just play that by myself? Mm. Oh, is that a boss? Do we get to fight a boss? I mean, it's... It's a melee boss, and I am definitely of the uh, ranged persuasion, so. Damn it, I was hoping I could time it to where I could get the arrow off and still hit it with that, but nah. He swings a little too fast, so we'll just kill it like this. There you go. Okay, lean enemies are much stronger and more resistant than other enemies. Cool. Yep. Fairly standard. Not bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not terrible. I don't. I don't think it's like the next big thing, but it's fun enough. And had a. I, I think it was the trailer that got me. I think the trailer was really funny, or something. It was something about this game. I just like looked at it and went, "Oh, I want that." And it was cheap, so I think it was like seven bucks or something on sale when I got it. it wasn't bad. I have, I have spent more money on worse games, so, I mean, fuck, I own Anthem. Although I only spent, I spent more on shipping for Anthem than the actual game, so I actually don't feel too bad about that one. I bought, I bought Anthem on Best Buy for $5 and the shipping was like $4.80 or something. Well, oh, no, no, the shipping was 3 something and then there was tax. So I think it came down to where the tax plus shipping were slightly more than the cost of the game itself. Which I just find funny for Anthem. Yeah, let's let's finish up this level and uh, we'll, we'll be done for now. And maybe I'll come back to this and if I play more of it. I mean, this is the second time I've played it. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll come back to it and see. Ooh. Oh, the lamp, the lamp post was right in front of its face, and I thought it was like a cool, like, night 
archer thing and was gonna be like, ooh, that's a cool design, but nah. And it's just a skeleton in a robe still. Yeah, there's no point using the regular shots here. Oh, actually, I have that split shot chance. And done. The shovel is ours. Shovel compass. It's a shovel with a compass on the handle. Compass looks broken. The shovel is all cracked. Not sure if it's in any condition to dig a hole. Let's take it back to... The... The... Pedro, I think it said? The, uh... The person who digs holes, the, the the grave undertaker, that's what it's called. My brain isn't working today, hi. It's just goldus. How do you have it on your back already? It's all broken. In this condition, it'd be difficult to dig a hole with it, but it does still point north. It's a compass on a stick. You wouldn't need a compass by chance, would you? Otherwise, you can always fix it. I have a shovel compass repair kit that left in the central square of the graveyard a little further away. Uh, let's go get it. Anyway, yeah, this is the Slormancer. It's... It's alright. I like it. Um, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst thing you could spend your time with. Anyway, yeah, have a nice night, everybody. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I can't go up there. I'll see ya.